So what is the IRS Alternative Minim Minimum Tax, or AMT? The AMT was instituted in the late 1960s, hand in hand, by the way, with the Federal Reserve, to ensure that high income individuals pay at least a minimum amount of taxes. However, one of the challenges with the AMT is that an increasing number of middle income taxpayers are finding themselves paying these taxes. That's you and me, and it's about to get worse, a lot worse. Remember this guy? I'm going to show you how this lying sack of crap duped us all again. Here you can see, although alternative minimum tax was supposed to penalize the rich and close loopholes for them, as of 2013 and going forward into 2013 where it's going to get worse, you'll see here that for a family filing a joint return, if the combined income was more than $80,800 or a single person or head of household who earned more than $51,900 or $40,400 for married persons filing separately, it's going to get worse, much worse. Let's look at this poor sap here. Let's call him John Q. Public. He's 56, 57 years old. He works full time as a regional sales manager and has, you know, a fairly good income of $100,767 a year. He's head of household. He supports himself, plus, he provides more than half the support for his daughter, Joanna, who's a full time student in college. In this scenario, John had 51,000 in itemized deductions. Those deductions included medical expenses, mileage allowance for the use of his car for business purposes, a deduction allowance for the use of part of his home as a home office, and um, various other things, mortgage interest, the things that you are typically allowed to deduct, and unreimbursed employer uh, employee business expenses, which brings John's taxable income down to $42,967. However, based on the tax table, John's tax liability should be $5,800 against a total withholding from his paycheck of $11,700, I think it was. So John should have had about a $5,000 return, but not with alternative minimum tax. You see, based on the alternative minimum tax, his tax, his alternative minimum tax is $15,918. Added to the $5,809 John owes based on a taxable income of $42,000, which creates a total tax liability for John of $21,727. Now, what this means is that the John has to cut a check now for $15,000. $918 in addition to the 11,700 and something dollars that the IRS withheld from each and every one of his paychecks. What this means is that when all is said and done, the $42,000 that John thought he earned and got to keep in 2013 is actually only $20,000 as, as he has to give back $21,727 of that 42000 he actually netted to the government in the form of an alternative minimum tax. 
So some of you may be thinking right about now, well, this doesn't affect me. I didn't make anywhere near the 100,000 used in that example. I only made 47,000 or 49,000 or 35,000 last year. Don't X out just yet. Remember, in 2013, the base rate was 80,800 for married couples filing jointly or surviving spouses 51,900 as in the example I showed you for singles and head of households and 40,400 for married persons filing separately. As this tax is not adjusted for inflationary um, losses to your earning dollar, you will see these amounts effect effectively decrease in 2014 and beyond. Make no mistake, this is an overt tax designed to destroy not the rich, but the middle class. It will devastate them. Here's a chart of the alternative minimum tax from 2001 to 2010. Notice after the crash of 2008, it went through the roof exponentially increased in so far as the amount of taxpayers in the taxpayer base that were now being affected by this tax. This chart here by the CBO shows the projection of the number of taxpayers that will be affected by the AMT. This is where we are here right now in 2013. And this blue dotted line right here are those Americans making $100,000 to $200,000 a year. This is the largest base that will be affected by the AMT. Oh, and what did they tell us? That this tax was designed to close loopholes for the rich? Well, here's what I would call the rich making over a million dollars a year. And their rate from 2011 seems to be going down or remaining flat, while the rate for people may be making 50 to 100,000 and those people making 100 to 200,000, their rates are steadily projected by the CBO to increase through 2016. Both these lines. These lines represent the workers, the producers, the middle class of America, you're going to get raped on this tax. Don't forget, if you are subject to this tax, your medical ex expenses, your home interest deduction, your exemptions for your dependents, your out-of-pocket business expenses, your mileage allowances, your allowances for your home office use, and on and on and on the list goes, will be added back in to your adjusted gross income, and you will have to pay an exorbitant rate on that new adjusted income for the alternative minimum tax. Because as I think you can see by now, you're not entitled to any of those deductions anymore. Once you fall into the income categories that were shown here for 2013 and sure to decrease for 20, in 2014 and beyond. And as you can see here by this chart put out by the CBO this year, that the amount of exemptions that you have or dependents that you get exemptions for on your return, the more you have, the more tax you're going to owe in the AMT. And this is just, this is insanity. No worries though, the IRS is looking to come out with a new 2014 AMT Form EZ. 
they've simplified the form and streamlined it. So you just check the box that best represents your income and filing status, fill in how much money you had left over after expenses, deduct from that your tax owed by the tax calculation tables, and on line three, just send them the rest. Remember, they've been serving the Federal Reserve and your criminal government since 1913. Remember, the alternative minimum tax is a regulatory statute passed by Congress on behalf of the criminal Federal Reserve and IRS. It is nowhere to be found in the IRS tax law, or I should say the U.S. tax law. We're, be, we're being treated as cattle to be milked dry, milked through inflation, milked through interest, milked through taxation. This is just another death by a thousand cuts in the destruction of the middle class of America. The power the government has over you is directly proportionate to the fear you have of them. Stop complying. Stop paying for your own enslavement and just stop conforming. Please share this video and please get this message out. Thank you.